Hi YouTube, I'm back. Um, I am very sorry for the uh, lack of updates. Um, lots, lots of stuff been going on and a lot of personal stuff and sometimes I just lose I just lose all motivation to do anything and what can you do, right? Um, once again, I do apologize for the really bad lighting. I am actually recording on my cell phone on the selfie camera, which there have to get. I have to look at the dot, not at the screen. Um, my boyfriend actually left today to go on a business trip to Germany, and he took my GoPro with him. So I am recording on my cell phone, not on my GoPro. So probably not the best quality video, and obviously not the best quality lighting as either. So anyway, so today's video is going to be um, a how I make my tea slash tea accessories slash itty bitty David's Tea Valentine's haul. So I guess we'll start with the haul part. Um, I made a tiny order from David's Tea. Oh, I don't even know. A couple weeks ago, I've had this box for quite a few days now. Um, but like I said, I had no motivation to do anything, so whatever. Um, so, David's Tea, yay. Oh, this video is going to be backwards. Yay, because it's the selfie camera. Anyway, uh, so I guess I'll start out with the David's Tea. I ordered, this was a David's Tea Valentine slash snacks haul. Um, I ordered some of their Valentine's things and I ordered a lot of their uh, sweets, snacks items. Um, the first of which is the cinnamon rooibos chai cookies, which as you can tell are really, really good because there's only one left. Um, they're shortbread cookies and they were actually really, really yummy. Um, I don't really know how to explain it, but a, short, a cinnamon shortbread cookie is the easiest way to explain it. And the texture was really yummy, they were really good. Um, hence why there's only one left. And I will probably be eating this last cookie tonight. Because I'm alone. And my boyfriend's going to Germany. And I'm going to eat my feelings. Um, next I got some a chocolate bar infused with juicy orange. I've had a couple bites of it. It literally it, it tastes like orange chocolate. Um, it's got some chunks of stuff in there. I don't know if it's tea or if it's orange, but it's kind of weird. Um, it's not bad though. I mean, if you like those chocolate oranges that come around Christmas time, you know, those big old orange, like round chocolate oranges, this tastes pretty much exactly the same. Um, I've only had like two pieces of it because like I said, the texture, those chunks of stuff in it is a little bit weird, but I mean, it's not bad, so... Um, next thing I got was the blueberry jam granola. Have not opened it yet, um, so I can't tell you what it, how it tastes or anything. Um, I did notice that it's uh, quite caloric. It's got a lot of calories in it. It's 250 calories per half a cup, so it's a little more than I usually like for a snack. So I'll probably just end up munching on it. Um, it just it's granola, you know. So that's the blueberry jam. Um, the last sweet that I got was a, oh no, I got more sweets. <laughs> I got the caramel wafers, tea, tea, tea crackers. Um, haven't opened them yet, don't know what they taste like, but I will let you know how they work out. Okay, and the last sweet that I got was actually a sweet and part of the Valentine's collection which was the tea-infused white chocolate bark cherry blossom. And it comes with this cute little set here. It's got a little to and from. Um, I actually have not opened it, so I guess I'll do that. Uh, oh, it's taped, so maybe not, but... You know what? Screw it. Mm. I'm not giving it to anybody. I bought it for myself. Happy Valentine's to me. Um, just, mm. I'll get it open, I swear. There we go. So, it's got wrapped in tissue paper. Um, I thought it was going to be pink. But this is the bark. Um, 
So I guess I will take a tiny nibble of cherry blossom bark. It's not bad. It's a little weird. Um, it's got cherries in it, and I've never had cherry chocolate. But you can definitely taste the cherry blossom tea, and I like the cherry blossom tea. So, definitely not bad, but it's just, it's a little different. <laughs> so, so yeah, that was the tea infused cherry blossom chocolate bark. Doo, doo, doo. Get that back on there. Okay. And then strictly for the Valentine's collection, I did not get any Valentine's exclusive teas because when I ordered, um, the Earl's Valentine wasn't out. And also the Earl's Valentine just doesn't sound very appealing to me, so I don't care. So I did not wait for the Earl's Valentine to come out. Um, oh, they finally, finally, finally sent me a tea menu. Like, I've never gotten a tea menu from the U.S. site, and I've been ordering since October. Um, I got three samples. Live Wire Lemon, which is part of the new collection. Buchu Superfruit, which is part of the new collection. And Forever Nuts, because everyone has Forever Nuts. But anyway, so, strictly for their Valentine's collection, I got the Valentine's Tin, which is now sold out online, which is really freaking cute. Got flowers and stuff. Um... And I got three of the little 1.5 ounce tins. I like getting the little tins because they're cute and they're also a good way to try new teas without buying like a giant amount of them. So I got 1.5 ounces of cherry blossom. Mm -hmm. Cherry blossom. 1.5 ounces of love tea number seven, which I'm actually really excited to try. It's a black tea. Um, it's a black tea with chocolate rose petals, strawberries. And the last one is uh, Dark Chocolate Delight because chocolate. So, so that was my Valentine slash snacky haul. So now I'm going to get to, uh, people have been asking me how I make my tea and the, what, uh, what I use to make my tea. And please forgive me, I don't have a lot of space so I'm going to be going up and down quite a bit. So anyway, well, how I make my tea. I have my uh, Tivana Perfect Tea Maker, which uh, if you've seen my channel, you've probably seen my video on how to clean it. I really like this thing, it makes it really easy to make tea. <laughs> so for this is uh, 16 ounces, I think. So for 16 ounces, I put two, this is not a David's Tea teaspoon, this is a Tivana teaspoon. Um, I put two Tivana teaspoons in here, or if it's a David's teaspoon, I put one David's teaspoon in here. So it all depends on the size of your spoon. This is 1.5 teaspoons, a David's teaspoon is two and a half teaspoons. Or whatever, how much you want your strength of your tea to be. But yeah, so this is how I make my tea. Throw in the tea, put in the water, put in the sugar, steep it, make it go. Super simple. Um, and then I use, also have... A few of these, the David's Tea teacups with the infuser. I actually use this at work, not this particular one, but I use this infuser at work with my other cup. I put one David's teaspoon in there, um, and it makes the perfect strength for a 16 ounce cup of tea. Um, this infuser is also really freaking handy, I love it. And this is my beautiful cat mug because I love cats. And there's one on the bed, and there's also one there, but you can't see him. Oliver! That's the orange one you've seen before on the table there. But so, I like David's teacups, or any teacup that can hold a steep, a, uh, a thingy, a strainer. And the cool thing is, is the lids to the David's teacups also become little coasters, so you don't get tea everywhere. Fancy. So that's how I, that's, that's usually how I do hot tea, with these. Um... And as you've seen already, I store my tea in tins. I try not to keep it in the bags once I've opened it. So I have, you know, my World Market tins, my David's Tea tins, and my Tivana tins. So tins are tins are tins, whatever about those. Um, for iced tea, um, I use my Takea pitcher. 
I love this thing. This is just the best iced tea pitcher I've ever had. Um, it's watertight. I mean, there's no water in it now, so it's not really demonstrating a damn thing. But it's watertight. You can store it flat in your fridge. Um, you use the, the infuser on the inside, which is this. Ta-da! Um, it also comes in two parts, so if you have a short tea pitcher or a long tea pitcher. All right, for this holds 64 ounces of water. So doing quick math, that means four tablespoons or three, six, nine, twelve tea teaspoons of tea, depending on the strength you like. Um, so I would throw that in here. I would snap the lid on just like that. Steep it, pull it out, rinse it, put the cap back on, and there you go. You have a really awesome pitcher of tea. So that this is my Takea pitcher. I love this thing. I highly recommend if you can find it, buy it. I'm so glad I got this on sale from David's Tea. Um, the sets I've seen can go upwards of $50 depending on what accessories you want. I got this for $18 bucks at David's Tea because it was part of last year's summer collection. Yeah, I highly recommend getting one of these if you drink a lot of iced tea like I do. Um, I use this mostly for my morning green tea, um, which, by the way, is Tiesta Tea's Fruity Pebbles. Try it, too. <laughs> anyway, so this is... That's my cat knocking stuff down. So this is my Takea pitcher. I love it. Buy it. It's awesome. All right, so those are my accessories. I want to have um, just one random cup that I got. It's clear. It says Intercall. It's, I guess, one of the companies that serve my boyfriend, the company my boyfriend works for. But anyway, it's clear. I like putting colorful tea in here and just sipping it out. It's just some random mug, but I really like it because it's double walled. It keeps it cold and or hot. Usually I drink it cold out of this. It's got the little sippy thing, so... This is my one of my other favorite like travel mug kind of thing. And then I also have my travel mug that I use for work, which is, is also Davis tea. This thing will keep your tea hot for like 12 hours. It's crazy. Um, just a normal tea tumbler. I like it. It's got a handle. I can clip it to stuff. So that's that. Um, and then somebody asked me how I sweeten my tea. Okay, so for every 8 ounces of tea, I use one Splenda. Um, I use Splenda mainly because it cuts some calories down, and it also makes a more consistent cup of tea. Because um, each Splenda pack has the same exact amount of Splenda in it. So, so for 16 ounces, I would use 2 Splendas. For the Takea pitcher, I use 8 Splendas, and it sweetens all the same. Um, I do have... The German rock sugar, I don't use this anymore. I just kind of keep it around, like, as if I run out of Splendas. I don't like using it because, for one, it's got 25 calories per teaspoon. Um, when sugar only has 10 calories per teaspoon, and Splendas have 3 calories per pack. Um, and that's not worth it to me. I'd rather just use regular sugar. Um, so I just kind of keep it around. I'll finish it, but I'm not going to buy it again. So that's the main reason why I do not use the rock sugar from Tivana or David's Tea or anywhere else that sells it because it's calorie for calorie. Like, I'd rather just use regular sugar. So anyway, um, yeah. So okay, that was my video. Uh, I do, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Um... Hopefully I will post a little more regularly from now on if life doesn't get in the way anymore. I, I am really sorry about that. But anyway, um, so future videos, I'm not really sure. Um, I will probably get something from when David's Tea puts out a spring collection. Um, I'm probably going to be doing another order from TS to Tea as well because I ran out of tea really quick because they're all really, really good. Um, and then also something not tea related at all, I will be posting a video of my doll collection. I collect ball jointed dolls <laughs> and I will be posting a video of my collection of them because I've always wanted to do that but yeah. So anyway, thank you again, thanks again for watching and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.